Hello Capricorn, welcome to Brazil Hugaro and this reading is for the first half of April. So let's check what are the messages for you. Messages for Capricorn. The High Priestess. King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. So Capricorn, you have brought someone back to senses. This person now realizes that you have your own identity, you have your own wisdom, you have your own way, and you've got your own principles that you're not gonna uh, sacrifice <laughs> for anyone. And um, this King of Swords feels neglected. Maybe they are giving you the silent treatment because they feel that it is going to work with you. Because they have lost. Whatever this issue was, whatever this problem was, they know that you are not the reason for that. And um, it's them who should be fixing it. They are already uh, proven wrong. And uh, they don't know how to take this, how to accept this. This person is not ready to accept that they are wrong. This could be someone who is quite stubborn. I'm not saying that this person is not a good one. They have their own personality. Um, King of Swords is also about someone who is mature, who is experienced, and who is serious about their commitment. But for now, they are really stubborn here. And maybe it's being tough for them to agree um, with you, or you can say that it's being tough for them to say that, okay, Capricorn, I was wrong. And you were right. Let's... Uh, do it in your way or let's uh, leave this issue behind and progress in our relationship so you know with the seven of pentacles if you were waiting for the ice to break if you were waiting to listen something from them it's going to happen the universe is giving you the reward of your patience and um, ace of pentacles is about your dreams coming true it's about being loved by the universe so everything is going to work in your favor and your wait is coming to an end you're finally going to get the apologies you deserve you're finally going to listen something you have been waiting for and the nine of swords is all about that this person has a regret they do have this regret and um, this regret has only you know uh, increased with time looks like that uh, they wanted to confess something they wanted to tell you that uh, you were right and uh, they still wanted to be in this relationship but because of their ego or their self-esteem this person kept silent they kept waiting they felt like you will uh, reach out to them and um, then they can be back in this relationship without apologizing, without giving you uh, the explanations you deserve. They thought that you will let it go. You will forget and forget. But with this Nine of Swords, this person knows that um, this is only delaying the matter. This is only delaying the healing. This is only delaying the happiness that they want in their life. With this Nine of Swords, this person just cannot take anymore. There is a lot of shame, embarrassment, and uh, guilt. And it looks like that they can't carry anymore. In fact, there is no one who understands them better than you. This person knows that uh, they can share their secrets with you. They can tell you what they like, and uh, you will listen to them carefully. 
this person actually knows that you are an empath and uh, you're not going to uh, disrespect them. So you can expect some kind of apology or at least you are going to get some messages from this person trying to say that uh, they still want you, they still think that uh, they deserve a chance. So Nine of Swords is about uh, dealing with someone who needs healing. In fact, High Priestess is um, connected to the universe. High Priestess is being guarded by the universe. Your spirit is showing you the way and uh, you are a source for healing for others. And this person needs your energy desperately. A lot of swords and pentacles, maybe an earth sign or an earth sign. Though that is not so necessary because this is a general reading and it might not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for you, Capricorn. Five of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Chalices. And King of Chalices. So here we have the Emperor. This person is someone who thinks that uh, they, know, they know better than you, they know better than others. This is someone who has got this huge ego and self-esteem, but for now, they are fighting with it all. This person is trying to defeat their own ego, they are trying to remove the hurdles, they are trying to get over everything because their feelings for you are really strong. and. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, this person is also occupied with a lot of work. They are trying to distract themselves. They want to be busy with something so that uh, this guilt and shame do not take over them. And uh, Eight of Pentacles is also about money. For now, this person is focusing on their work and uh, they want to stay away from this negative feeling or you can say from this dark side also with this five of cups they are constantly regretting what they have done and uh, this person feels that they are carrying this burden by their own choice they know that they can apologize they can express their feelings they can confess their love for you and they can get rid of this load easily but uh, they are still carrying that burden because of themselves and uh, this person can think clearly. At this point they have gained enough clarity to make, this, make things happen and with this clarity this person is going to come back to you. King of Chalices is about someone who is coming back to you, who is offering you something that you deserve, something that they know you like, something that is going to bring a new hope between you two and with this five of wands looks like that this time this person is coming with open heart they have left their ego and um, arrogance behind let's check an oracle message for you spider what a wild web we be dear child a delicious mystery untamed so spider is about creating
something slowly and gradually it's like building up a home or it's like building up a strong base to um, to make something happen so here the spider is telling you that this person is uh, weaving this net they want to have a home with you this could be about their plan that they are making and they know that it's gonna work in the longer run so whatever is happening is it's happening slowly but uh, this is strong this transformation is real and this is going to stay for a long time so this was a reading for the first half of April. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.